Hey everybody, this is gonna be a super fast video today. It wasn't really planned, but as I'm packaging up all of my orders that I'm gonna ship out today, I couldn't help but think, man, there is such diversity in the things that I'm packing up. If I ever limited myself to just one niche, I would miss out on so many sales. So since this is unplanned, since I'm trying to head to the post office, we're gonna to try to do this in one take. No editing, nothing fancy. I just wanna show you guys 10 different items. I believe they're all in different categories. So 10 items, 10 different categories, and what they sold for. So the very first item that I have um, is this official PlayStation remote control. I picked this up, I wanna say maybe a dollar. I probably paid less than that, maybe 50 cents for this, but let's just err on the side of caution and say that I spent a dollar on this. It sold for $19.90. So if you say I'm not gonna do electronics or I don't wanna waste time looking at the remotes, free shipping, $19.90 from $1. The very next item that we're gonna talk about is something that I picked up that probably most people would not have. Look at this little bull. <laughs> <laughs> no bull guys this um I, well, let me just show you a little bit about him first I said that this is going to be quick but you have to see some of the details he is very very worn he's anatomically correct which is odd he has holes he is like he's just seen better days you guys but when I saw this I thought oh my gosh they're not making any more of those and that's the type of stuff that I really love to sell so something in the antique and toys category now and this guy sold are you ready for this I paid less than a dollar for him <laughs> because I bought him in a bundled up lot and it was like 10 items and I want to say I paid like nine dollars for everything but he sold for thirty nine dollars plus five dollars and fifty cents shipping forty bucks for that that I paid less than a dollar for that again probably would have overlooked you know um but I just thought that he was super super cool and I had to have him the next item is kitchenware pots and pans quit selling it saying that you're not going to sell those this is revereware so um I knew I would have a pretty good sale on this I didn't expect it to be so fast though I literally just listed this gosh it was a couple days ago and this one is headed to St. Louis this sold um I paid did I pay three dollars for this it's in a previous haul video so go back if you want to know exactly it was either I want to say it was three dollars because I expected to sell around 30 and it sold for $19.99 plus ten dollars shipping so right Right at that $30 mark from a $3 pickup um, kitchens pots and pans whatever you want to call the category here it's not remote controls or toys the next item today is April 19th and I sold a Christmas ornament okay so stop sitting on your Christmas stuff this guy sold for full price which wasn't a ton um this is a Hallmark keepsake ornament Adrian Peterson um and he sold for nine dollars and 99 cents with free shipping um this was something that someone had given my son no one in our house watches football and so he went up on eBay nine dollars and 99 cents I've had him for a long time I'm um, just living in our house and like I say we don't put him out so um Christmas as a cat category here. Next item, let's see what our next thing is. Oh, you guys, if you follow me over on Instagram, are already familiar with this dress. Let me take it out of here and show you guys. I picked this up based on the quality of this item. I just thought that was incredible quality. So beautiful. The brand I had never heard of in my life, Beguile by Byron Lars. And to get home and realize that it's an anthropology brand. I paid $2.50 for this dress. And you guys, I just sold it, took a best offer, negotiated back and forth a little bit. $91 plus $9 shipping. So the buyer's all in at $100. And this is not vintage. If I said I wasn't going to sell any women's clothing that wasn't vintage, would have missed out on $100 bucks here. Okay, the next item that I want to tell you about, oh, it's still hanging on my wall. Um, I'm not going to run in there because I'm trying to make it a quick video, remember? Um, but it is a picture. Okay, I am going to run in there. Just enjoy this look at my office for just a second, okay? I can't even believe I left you on white noise like that. I'm sorry. Don't feel neglected. Don't feel neglected, YouTube. I'm sorry about that, but... <laughs> I just really want to tell you guys about these sales today. This picture I hung up on my gallery wall. You can tell the size of it here. This is E.A. Sagai is the um, illustrator here. This is an original print um, from what I could research. It has a bamboo look frame, not real bamboo. Uh, definitely vintage framing here. Super, super cool. I wanted to keep it, so I set it at a price that I was going to make someone buy it from me. I was set in the 80s, 80 some odd dollars, like 82 or 86 dollars on that. I negotiated very, very little and sold it for $72 plus $10 shipping. They paid 
$82 for that picture. I picked it up for, I want to say six bucks on that. Could have been four, but let's just say six dollars. Um, this next item came free with a set of Fiesta wear that I bought. Um, this, these are Onita plates. They look a lot like Fiesta wear, but they are Onita pedals is the brand. You can see the pedals inside. Obviously they look a lot like Fiesta wear, but it is an Onita brand. All four of these plates together, a lot of people probably would have found that in the lot of Fiesta and maybe just thrown it out and thought like that's not worth listing. I listed these and sold them for $19 plus $10 shipping. You could probably buy, you could obviously buy plates that color new for that. So something else in the dishes and breakables category. Um, let me tell you about this pair of sunglasses. This, uh, these should go for fashion accessories and also retail arbitrage. I paid $1 for these Foster Grant vintage style tortoise shell sunglasses at Walmart. And these sold for $9.90 and I offered the buyer free shipping on those. But again, I paid $1 for these. So a nice little bread and butter sale over there. Uh, the next item that we should talk about, let's see, oh, this broken watch. Um, well, it's not really broken. The straps were broken, but the straps were interchangeable on this watch. So rather than just throw the entire thing out, I felt incredibly wasteful to do that. I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw this up on eBay for a super low price. This sold for $4.99 with free shipping. So $4.99 free shipping on this little watch that was otherwise headed to the trash. And we'll, we'll call that women's fashion accessories accessories as well as far as the category. Almost done you guys. Oh, I have another toy, a vintage toy. Um, so the first one we had as an antique, but this one's just pretty vintage. Look at this beautiful doll. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. I paid $1 for her at a local thrift store and let's see what she sold for. She did take several, several months to sell, but when she sold, she just sold for $16 and let's see if the buyer paid $5.50 shipping for her. So isn't she pretty? There was no reason really for me to pick her up outside of the look, but let me just tell you, she's a vintage Sutton and Sons import rag doll, blonde freckles, blue eyes, and pigtails. She's so cute and she is paying for dinner tonight. All right. And the last item that I sold, I sold over on Poshmark, you guys. And it is a swimsuit, another retail arbitrage pickup that I have been trying to sell for um, like a couple years. I did not recommend this. I paid $20 for this and it just sold for $30. MSRP on this was $84. So just goes to show you MSRP means absolutely nothing. She only sold for 30 bucks. I made $24. So I barely made my money back and had to deal with sharing this and messing with this for literally like two years. I have the same swimsuit and when I bought it, I went ahead and picked up two other ones. I think at um it was like Ross or Marshall's and I would not recommend picking something up based off of the MSRP ever 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 again $84 no one was ever gonna pay that I tried to get $60 I tried to get $40 ended up taking $30 two years later so um but women's fashion and at least I made my money back <laughs> I don't use that as a business model but at least I made my money back all right thank you guys so much for watching this I hope that you learned something and I hope that if anything Thing. This might encourage you to diversify into other categories and give this video a thumbs up if you are encouraged by me being able to talk this fast and do this entire thing in one take because I'm doing it for you guys because I want you to be successful in your reselling business and it's Monday and here's some motivation for you. Go out and kill it you guys. God bless and treat your business like your business.